Hi, this is James Stone from jamesstone.com. And in this video, I'm going to talk about a tool that I like to use called KDIF3 and why I think it's a good tool for both developers and designers who have to work with HTML and CSS and run into issues where there's changes or issues with the code and they're not sure what's the difference between different files. So I think the easiest way to get started with KDIF3 is just to do a Google search KDIF3 and it's usually the first website, the sourceforge.net and we'll click here and it's not as easy to install as your normal Mac application, um, but you go here to download and it's going to come up here with the directory and then we're gonna to have to pick the correct one, which will be the latest version. We wanna pick the right one for this operating system, which I'm using Mac OS X 64 bit. So I'll click on that to download. We should wait for four seconds apparently and the download will start. All right, now that um, KDIF is finished downloading, I'm just gonna click on this to open up the DMG. Here we go. And now all I need to do is take this and kind of option drag it over to my applications folder. That's gonna make a copy. And then the final thing we need to do, a little security thing is to right click and click open because it is not an identified developer and I'm gonna trust that this is safe. I've used this for years. I'll hit open and we should see KDIF open up just shortly. So. The way this works, it works a lot like many of the command line utilities you can use for checking differences between different types of files, but I just find it to be a little bit easier to use and it's a little bit more graphical. And so if you're a designer or you're not super into the command line, this can be a great uh, kind of entry tool for you to much more complex tools. The way it works, you've got an A, B and C and A and B are usually what you're going to use. And we'll need some files to check what the differences are gonna be. So I'm just gonna go and grab something. Um, I'll grab just from my home page. Now I don't use Zerb Foundation or anything special here, but I'm just using a WordPress uh, site builder plugin called Thrive Themes uh, Architect. So I'm just gonna view source and get some text to work with. I'm gonna go into Sublime Text and we'll save this on the desktop and I will call this uh, original file. Now, I think the problem that you run into often is that there's some sort of really minor change in between a couple of different files or a single file, and you're not too sure what happened. So I'm just gonna look for a class here, and I'm just gonna make a small change, and I'm just gonna add, this is the secret And then I'm gonna save this file, save as, and I'm gonna call this the changed file. So we both know, or all of us here know, that I made this change to the file, but you, you can imagine if we were looking at these two files uh, together, and often you might be doing something like this, if the changed file and the original file, and I would probably swap these around, have my change file on the right. But you can imagine if we're going through this and we're like, well, what, what's different here? And if we get to the same part of the file, I mean, this is just going to be a lot of stuff to go through comparing what's wrong. So KDIF is a great tool to do this very quickly. I'm gonna go back into there. I'm gonna choose our first file. And that is the original file, and I'm gonna choose the changed file. And I'm gonna run this by hitting okay. And you'll see it identifies exactly where that change is. Now this might not be amazing because this is what a diff tool does, but what I like about this tool is it is very visual. So rather than looking through all this text and seeing kind of just the highlighted line 177, we can actually kind of go look at it and see like what is it that actually has changed here. So what's really cool about KDIF is it also, it doesn't limit to, to just a single file, but it can actually run differences 
across entire directories. So right here, I have two projects, my new project and my new project with changes. I haven't made any changes, but I'm just going to open this up in Sublime. And I'm just going to go and make some, some changes somewhere here. You know, we'll go and add, I don't know, let's add a class on the body. No class here. And then we'll just go and open up some pages and just start adding some stuff maybe randomly here, right? Like medium four, we'll do like a small 12. And I don't know, let's go into the partials. There's nothing there. We've got a style guide with an index. Let's go into maybe our SCSS files and the app. And we'll just add something here. Um, my color is foo, um, right? And so we'll add this here as well. And so we made several changes, right? And what's nice about this is now we can go back in to our KDF3. We can click this little open icon. And now instead of file, I'll do directory. So I'm going to select the new project. I'm going to click choose. And then under this directory, I'm going to go to the same place my KDIF demo and the new project with changes. And I'll hit OK. So same process. We'll see it's running. There's quite a bit of files here because we're using Node. And it's really going to compare everything of 22,501 files. Now, you could probably just run this on the source directory and it'd run a little bit faster. But this is just a quick demo. OK. Now, it gives you a little bit of a summary here, right? How many files are compared? How many are equal? This is kind of the important one. How many files are different? Three. So what's nice about KDF3, now we were presented with a little bit different uh, way to navigate, but you'll see this red here. What that red means is that there has been changes and you'll see in assets, SCSS, and we can navigate down and see that it was this specific file, app.scss. And when we double click on it, it opens down here in the bottom and it highlights that this was an addition, okay? The other change was under defaults. And you can see right here, body, no class here. And pages, index HTML. And we can see the small 12 being highlighted as well as an addition. So this is just a really great tool. So if you're ever kind of like lost in the code and there's either a lot of changes, it's not obvious what changed, or there's like a very minute change and you're not exactly sure what it is, this gives you a way to find out what exactly those changes are. And so if you ever break something in a project where the HTML or code's not working the way you expect it to, but you have a version that was working before, you can always go back or clone the repo, you know, your Git repo, a couple of commits back, and then see what changed across all of the different files on an entire project. Or if you're just looking at a specific file, you can use it one-to-one. -one. So. If you're a designer, hopefully this gives you an idea of like how you can kind of quickly identify what the changes are between files with a graphical tool that's super easy to install. Um, it's not a one-click installer, but it's much easier, I think, than using command line tools to do the same thing. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe.